So hello there and welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. The thing is that that my work table is a bit messy and despite of having many of my three of my pen stands, this one was created by me around around uh, two or three years before. Still, some of my tools are just scattered away and now I think that I am in need of one more pen stand. So I thought I'd better create a tutorial video on this so that even you can create and this is a very easy technique. Hence, if anyone who is not into clay art, they can also create it very easily. So as always, the clay that we are going to be using is Fevicryl Molded or Epoxy Clay. So I'll just mix this up. What I'll suggest while mixing this for while mixing big chunks of clay, what I'll suggest is that don't mix it by your fingers that after some time that might damage or that might pain your fingers that sorry that might give pain to your fingers and also that might also damage your wrists also just uh, also another technique i guess you might know this is how to mix this is by making rolls this is one of the most easiest technique rather than pressing it and applying too much you know pressure on on your hands you can rather just roll it and again roll it by applying pressure on your shoulders like like do not roll with the help just of fingers like this something like that try not to put too much pressure on your fingers or on your wrists elbows and shoulders can take that much pressure keep mixing until the clay is completely white now you need a cardboard and mainly scissors to cut the cardboard depends on what shape you want is this will act as a base so it depends on what shape you want it to be you just cut it and also if you need it in a circular shape then you can also cut it in circular shape and then simply make it there's no limitation to what you can do if you want a triangular shape then that also you can do it's completely on your choice so here yeah, my five pieces are now ready and okay if you're creating a circular one what you have to do is just don't cut your sheets just keep keep don't cut them in between and when you're doing this you can just you have, all you have to do is just fold it first like this and then you have to put on put up on your circular base so it will cover up completely and your cylinder will be ready so once we have made our basic shape what we have to do now is cover this whole thing with tape if you have watched my beginners tutorial video you will understand that I said that this clay does not stick to plastic so that's the thing that you're gonna do over here you'll understand once i'm making it so just keep on watching the video and you'll completely get an idea of what we're gonna do over here. yes we are done now uh, i'll just keep these i'm not covering this upper side because i'm not gonna cover this with the clay over here because these are things these are the sides that's gonna remain for me to hold this and also when i'm done i can keep it like that also make sure sorry also make sure that you cover it completely with tape please do not leave any areas open and also just in case if your box is not that rigid because you have to press your clay over here right so i have added some cardboard rods inside it i just fold the cardboard and added it i don't think so that that's necessary but let me know if you want to know that and yes clay that was needed before it's completely hot right i mean if you're needing this much amount of clay, you're mixing this much amount of clay due to the mixing action, the heat gets generated inside and becomes hot. I added some, also I've added some tape to the base. And I can just, you know, this helps me to keep this over here. To flatten this up more, there is one technique. You can use an old cello tape roll and just keep rolling on it. Depends on how thick you want. I usually make this much thick. Too much thin can break later. Hence, this much thick is good. I mainly got to know about this tape and clay thing when on a plastic box, I had just kept a mixed clay and I completely forgot about it. And then after around two or three hours when I checked that the clay was already on the plastic, I thought that it has completely stuck on it. So when I just tried to remove it, it just came off easily. So I thought then this and I got just got an idea that okay I'll just try this up with the tape 
and then after trying this and doing some various tricks with it i got to know about it and then i decided to make a paint stand this clay is a bit hardened clay um, i'll just mix more and i'll let you know but i just wanted to show you that you can just in case any of you not is not understanding what's going to happen see this does not stick to plastic this is what we want to do okay i've explained all these basics these are all you know just the next things of the basic things i have explained all the basics almost not all almost all the basics in my beginners clay tutorial i mean as much as i have discovered you know you can just explore those techniques and you can create much much things out of it surely check you can surely check that out if you haven't it's on my youtube channel what you have to just keep doing is that keep pressing this because this is gonna act as a base hence it must be flat right if you want to know how to add name tags to your artwork how to create embossing and everything all that then you can just check out i have made two videos on it the videos are in hindi but i have any subtitles so that you can check out check them out easily now i'll just keep this to rest as i don't want the clay to go waste so our base is now ready as you can see it's completely hardened and also we can also pull it out now so while are making the base what i'll suggest is that just spread the clay a little bit over here so that whenever you are adding clay over here it completely sticks to it and and later on it does not have the intention of coming out i think you'll understand this once you make once you keep on now make sure that uh, the clay when you are adding anywhere it down or at the side make sure that clay is not that much hardened just take a clay which has you have kneaded immediately just mix the clay and immediately then add it over here just don't keep on waiting for anything because we have to spread it right over here while spreading it it's necessary that these does not bend hence i have added the rods before you can spread it as much as you want just try not to make it too much thin keep water ball with you and just then merge this clay with the base now the reason i made base first because now whenever i want to work over here i can just hold it like this right i can hold it at the top and now i can hold at the base right the tape roll over here and you can just keep rolling it so that it gets more flat whatever might come out like this because it does this clay does not stick to plastic then all you have to do is just press it down add some water and then press it down make sure that your hands are completely dry and a little moist with water if your hands are completely dry then clay might stick and it might come off and also if your hands are you know mixed with clay or something like that then that will again be a problem for you to work on and you might not get the expected results also i'll suggest that while you are making while you are adding the sides make adjacent side first and then you can add the other sides just don't make this side and then don't make the opposite side because there there are chances that they might break afterwards or something like that it do, usually it doesn't break but you know while making these things you have to think about all this because that will help you know for your artwork to last longer this epoxy clay is much much durable clay so your artworks made of this clay can last life long if kept properly since this clay hardens in around 1 and 1/2 or 2 hours it's completely not possible to just create everything within that time hence what i always say is that always while working on this clay work in parts you can also leave these sides open if you want or if you want so you can do much with it i mean i'm just explaining a technique you can keep exploring whatever you want and i'll add a line just cut this portion over here so that i can also get clay remember this again that whenever you are sculpting on this whenever you are doing anything on this make sure that you don't mess up with the layers please do not make the layers too thin because thin layers can break also if you want you can also give a hole over here anywhere you want it will hold it won't break don't worry about that so you can also give texture to it 
tree texture is the most easier one or as I can say wood texture because you don't have to worry about smoothening it much yeah i mean now you can just keep on adding tree lines i mean whatever however you want to also if you don't want to add any texture to it then that will also do just simply make a plain one like this and then just keep on painting it that's it i have said before that there is no such definition of what tools to use you can use any of the tool that you like is this can also be done with the help of a spatula i'm currently avoiding spatula because spatulas are sharp and they might just pierce through the clay and might create an opening i don't want that right now so i'm trying to avoid it yeah and just this much is enough i guess also i'll just add some little scratches on this somewhat Now these are thin walls and hence they will take more than 2 or 3 hours to dry. Please do not try to remove this right now because that might disturb your shape. Let it dry completely, wait for around 3-4 hours and then after remove it. So, this, so these two parts are now completely dried up and now I have to work on this. The main good point of working in parts is that now I can hold like this and then I can apply the clay over here. I had also explained this working the advantages of working parts by parts in my Pikachu tutorial. Also remember that whenever you just make you working parts by parts when you are doing these two sides just spread it over here and here so that now when I'm adding clay over here then I then I can get to spread the clay on this as well and so that it sticks properly and it does not come off once it's hard. Just adding some design with the help of my stamps. Oh, if you want to know how I made these stamps, I have made a separate video on it. So here's now it's completely dry and ready. Now I'll just have to pull this off. Now you can see it's not stuck inside. So you have to do is gently pull this off. Usually it doesn't happen, but just be careful that you do not break this. Don't press too much over here. As I said before that these are thin parts, right? So there are high chances that thin parts might break when you apply too much pressure on them. Just slide it like that. And gently. Yeah, done. You can see? Some color while as I was, you know, painting, you know, when the color is too much watery, it can sometimes spread inside. It doesn't matter. And you can see the finish on the inside as well. It's more of a shiny or lustery finish. Also, this fabrical molded is a waterproof clay, so you can also add water to it. Right? It does not even fall. I don't know whether you can use this as a planter or not, but you can surely try that out. Now what I'll do is I'll color this up, I'll you know add some proper colors to it. This part I'll just keep it like as it is because I might add some you know when the excess clay is remain remaining I'll just make something out of clay of that clay and I'll just add it over here. Also uh, at sometimes at the edges if you are you know this is too much thin there are high chances that there can be cracks over here. Add glue over there and they'll just stick it back to normal and you can also add some clay uh, over here over here as well and also you can clay add the clay over here as well usually this doesn't happen if you use more thicker walls
So here it is and I'm adding all my remaining tools and my brushes over there. But did this help me get more organized? At least I got to make a new pen stand and also made a video on it. So it's good, right? And also this, this was just my technique of making this. You can also invent a technique of your own and there can also be n number of techniques to make this. Also, you can create n number of designs. You can create a lots and lots of designs, anything that you want on such on this pen stand because it's very easy. And whenever you create one and if you post it on social media, just tag me at the SMM creations or simply use the hashtag SMM creations. Also, a lot of tricks can be done with this tape and clay and I'm going to make a few videos on it as well. Till then, see you next time with a new creation.